hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing good so in this video what we are going to do is basically animating a circle like a bouncing ball that's the animation we are going to build that you can see right now on the screen there are three circles that are going to be animated at three different speeds so let's get started so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to define my canvas in the center. So I'll be starting with the div that is I'm giving a bootstrap class that is text center. I'm then I'm defining my canvas. So I'm giving it an ID of ball animation. Then I'm giving it the width and height that is 900 and height let me say 600 and I'm styling it I'm giving it a basically a border that is of two pixels solid um, let's say black now we are moving forward to write our script in which we will get the ID of our canvas and for that we need where canvas that is document dot get element by ID that is ball animation then I'm getting the context of the canvas. So for that, right, where CTX equals canvas dot get context 2D. Next, what I'm doing is I am defining the coordinates for my first circle. So for that, where X equals to 100 and Y equals to 100. And radius I'm going to define for it that is 70. Now I'm writing begin path and then I'm defining my you know for writing creating a circle we need arc so for that arc I'm passing the argument x and y then I'm passing radius then starting angle 0 until 2 pi I'm defining it then I'm filling it with the style that is color orange and I'm filling the color and then I'm giving a stroke. Save it and let's check it in the browser. So you can see it's created an orange circle. Now let's move on to add velocity to the circle. So for that, I'm converting this to a function. So write function, create circle, and function is created and call that function. After that, I'm adding the variable that is for velocity, let's say Vx, that is 3, and Vy, let's say 9. Then I'm, you know, clear rectangle every time. So for that, I'm writing ctx dot clear rectangle and in that 0 0 canvas dot width and canvas dot height so it will clear the rectangle when every time we request the animation frame now we will add velocity to the x and y so now what does that mean basically is that I'm incrementing the x with vx and incrementing y with vy so basically x will be incremented with vx that is 100 103 106 and y is also 109 118 and after that i am adding set interval to the create circle that is a function and i'm adding 10 to it so let's see how it will go actually very fast the circle is actually going out of the canvas so we need to boundary that so for that I need to put a condition on X that is if X greater that canvas dot width then it should take the negative velocity so for that right and also its radius should be minus because I don't want the half circle to get out of the canvas width 
right so you want complete circle should remain in the canvas so for that you need to minus the radius also and you have to change vx equals to minus vx and same condition you have to apply that it on y also so that from both side it does not go out of the canvas so let's see in browser refresh the chrome and you can see it hits the bottom but it doesn't go out so that's you know is working right that's what we need but it's going out from the top now so we need to boundary that also so for that what i need is that i need to put a parallel condition that is in the or condition that it should x should be less than radius so that it does not go out from the top and also same in the y that y should be less than radius that is 70 now let's see in chrome now so you can see now it's not going out from any side it looks like basically a ball in a box now <laughs> so now let's change its velocity now i'm changing its vy to 3 and refresh there you can see that now its speed is slow now and it's moving you can watch it now let's move on to second circle so let's quickly write second circle copy the first one and basically change its variable to x2 and y2 at all places it should not you know and also its velocity to v2 like bx2 and by2 and let me define at the top that these variables x change the variable name that is x2 y2 vx2 vy2 change the velocity to 5 5 now what i want is that a different position for this so i'm giving it a different position that is x2 at 800 and i am filling that style with pink now let's see how it will go it's not animating so let's see what i have missed okay i have missed this x2 and will be incremented with vx2 and y2 should be incremented with vy2 now what i want is i want to give a background color that is of something like dark bluish refresh so there you can see now both the circles are animating now let's quickly move forward to our third circle so for that first copy all the variables then write x3 y3 and what i want to define at the bottom so i'm giving it a 550 and 550 x3 and y3 value and i'm also defining the like a other radius for this so let's say r3 that is 50 then in the bottom function i am defining third circle and i am changing all the variable to x3 x3 vx3 basically change all the variables that you are using change its color to red and one more thing that i'm doing is i'm writing window dot request animation frame and i'm passing the uh, like function name that is create circle in this also uncomment the outside create circle so firstly 
so this should be you know like the same effect it will create so refresh basically and there you can see three circles animating in the same like box so this is the animation that i have shown you at the starting of the video so so our video is finished here and i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching